welcome to welcome all of you to this wonderful triple one days global goddess meditation circle with triple one feminine masters across the globe i am shrilakshmi from uk under the guidance of pramarshi patri ji we are organizing this triple one days global goddess meditation circle with triple one feminine masters across the globe it gives me so much happiness and joy to connect with all this feminine masters across the globe my dear friends today we have with us sushma shera from kolkata and before starting of our program let's invoke all divine goddess energies and all higher beings of love and light let's connect with them and receive their wisdom just for one minute my dear friends close your eyes let's invoke all the divine goddess all the higher beings of love and light let's connect with them and receive their wisdom which is channeled through various masters is yes, my dear friends so i'm so happy to introduce to all of you this wonderful master from kolkata she is sushma sharaf she is a pyramid master she is light channeler she speaks light language through her spiritual journey of self realization she has met many masters who played an important role in her life many masters like patri ji dr newton dr g k ranganathan ayer ray chandran and many more her journey began from 2008 but from 2015 in gcss after the deep meditation experience a new reality opened up for her and she started the light channeling she started drawing cosmic diagrams and speak the light language now she is teaching anapanasati meditation vegetarianism and pyramid power to contribute to the vision of brahma shri pita mahapatri ji She also holds various webinars and workshops on various topics like DNA activation, ancestral healings, abundance, and many more. Today, she will be speaking about womb healing. Sorry, one second. So much happiness and joy to connect with all these feminine masters across the globe. Yes, friends, and Sushma ji, we welcome you. Over to you. Thank you, Shri ji. Thank you. A warm welcome to all of you, friends. And it's a pleasure and it's an honor to serve the vision of our master, Namaste Pitama Patriji. And thank you for uh, organizing the session, Shri, for the one hundred and eleven days for different feminine masters. Because as after the event of Kartal in December. After the Mahila Dhyan Mahachakram, the energy is really high, and it requires deep balancing in our energy field and in the entire cosmos itself. So for today, for the same, before beginning, just uh, we just close our eyes, be with the breath, connect with the energy, so that we can continue and reap the complete benefit of the session. So I ask all of you to clasp your fingers, close your eyes, and just simply observe your breathing. No thoughts whatsoever. Just you and your breath. Just be aware of the inhalation and the exhalation. Soft and simple breath, easy and natural breath. Whatever. 
and your breath keep observing breathing for the next 2 minutes of your breathing last one minute Slowly and gradually, we turn back to your body. You can open your hands. Keep it on your eyes. Five, four, three, two, one, seven. Welcome, friends. Now we begin for the day. Womb healing. Womb is a part. which makes us feminine that is the most in unique and exclusive part of the feminine body because of the womb only we just differ from the male it's the womb which makes the distinction between the male and the female itself and this is the most unique and the wonderful quality which the female has through which the creation happens to which the new life comes comes into existence but at times because of the suppression of the feminine energy in far past few decades and maybe good to say centuries we have lost the connection with this most creative aspect of ourselves we have forgotten the importance the utility the benefit which home which womb bring to all of us maybe many of you think that if you are in the male body you don't need the womb healer but it's not so my dear friend because we have experienced many incarnation we have experienced the life of both men and women in different lifetimes and in different lifetimes we have used this energy we have used this space in different ways so many emotions so many traumas so many beliefs are stored in the womb and many of times if we run the issue in our life we are not aware what is the belief the trauma the memories which are hidden in our womb and that's why because of that many a times we just feel stuck in our life we feel that unexperienced we feel that unhealed disconnection with our own self it is just because we are not connected with the womb being in the feminine body the disconnection with your womb leads to disorientation about yourself and about your life purpose also because it doesn't if you are not connected with the complete aspect of yourself what happened there is no alignment between your body and spirit there is no alignment between your body and mind therefore sometimes when we see many girls who behave very much like in a tomboy style or they are ashamed of being female it is just because they have lost that connection with that feminine aspect of themselves 
So let's understand about the womb healing in the most detailed way, which I just shared the slide with you. One minute. To just understand it more deeply. As we say, the womb is the gateway to all creation. All the life which comes into existence, it happens through womb only. Whatever we see all around, all the human races, or even the animal races, it just comes with the womb. But we focus for the human experts. What are the reasons for the womb trauma? Why there is so much unhealed energy which gets stored in a womb? Basically, there are two aspects, the physical and the emotional. In the physical aspect, the trauma occurs when somebody physically abused you, when somebody physically violated our boundaries. In this lifetime or in many lifetimes, it just gets stored in our cellular memories. And if it is violated in this lifetime only, it is there in our mind, it is there in our thoughts. So the trauma occurs at the physical level when our physical boundaries are violated. At the same time, we have used this place, we have experienced any abortion or miscarriage. Maybe physically the child wouldn't be there in the womb, but the energy are still there. And it has been greatly proven when the many in the during the family constellation programs or in when the people who go for the holistic healing approach for to heal their womb, the many of them can experience and feel the energy of that the child which was aborted, maybe it was 20 years or 30 years or the miscarriages happen in their lifetime. I shared one of my, I was doing counseling of one of a lady, she's from Mumbai, and uh, we were talking about, and we, during the session, we could feel that there is an energy of abortion in the sec in her womb. And when we shared that, is, have you aborted any of your child? And she said, yes. Like, and it was 30 years back, such a long period then to, the energy of that child, that trauma, that we have misused this space. This space is for creation. It is not for the, it is not to end the life or to take the life of the fetus. And that that lady was really surprised when we shared this that uh, before thirty years uh, ago that she has uh, done that she has gone for undergone for the abortion. And that's still the energy is still there in her womb. And when we uh, go into the deep meditation state, when we guided her and we channelize, and when we release those trauma, that she was able to come out of that guilt which she was carrying. At the same time, she was she came out of this physical problem, the physical challenge she was facing in that time, at the, during that period of time. Another is the emotional trauma which the person got. It is just uh, when, uh, because it is connected with our sacral chakra, the Swadhisthana chakra, the energy of the guilt and the shame also block the energy of the womb. It's just uh, the energy in the womb just uh, doesn't uh, expand properly, doesn't uh, got the time to bloom in its full form, this energy just stops the every every female stops every female to just experience the true feminine, the divine feminine within herself. These two energies stops uh, us to experience fully who we are, because many times, if you see many girls, are we really feel very ashamed of their breast of being a girl and they just walk like uh, they just uh, hunch their shoulders while walking or uh, they just uh, they just help uh, they just feel uh, some uh, 
what you say, some hesitation to talk and experience about femininity. They are not able to express themselves fully. They are not able to be so expressive to tell their emotion to what they are feeling. They feel ashamed if something happens to her, if something happens which they feel is not appropriate, or if they have some done something or uh, gone through any experience, it just uh, they just feel guilty about it and this energy can become one of the reasons for the trauma which they carry inside their home. Why we, it's a need, we need to heal the womb. It is just because when we heal the womb, we are able to relate to ourselves better. We are able to cherish our femininity better. We are able to experience our womanhood in a more wonderful and in a more respectful way. It also helps us to relate to our feminine experience. All the feminine quality that we can nurture, we are more compassionate, feminine are more compassionate. They have the nurturing qualities. They can just uh, open their heart. It's easy for them to ex uh, accept everybody. So when we heal this trauma, we can utilize our complete and the full potential to connect with others and to connect with ourselves. At the same time, as I've shared in my last example, it helps into the clearing the past wounds. The past wound that lady which she was maybe carrying for aborting her child. When we clear that energy, when we release that guilt, it just heals and it just makes you feel so much better. At the same time, it heals the relationship between yourself and between others also. It helps you to create healthy boundaries for yourself so that you respect your space and other space. When you are able to heal this part, you create those boundaries that nobody can violate, violate those boundaries for you. Nobody can enter without your permission. Nobody can take advantage of you. Because when there is no trauma, when there is a no energy which is not right, which is emitting from your energy field. Your energy becomes more stronger, more aligned and more balanced. So what happens? The other person doesn't even doesn't able to interfere in, your, interfere in your energy field. The other person doesn't violate the boundaries. At the same time, when we heal the womb, because womb is the major part of a, a physical body, which makes you feminine. It helps you to connect with the divine feminine energy, to the universal mother. You will able to connect because this universe in itself is a big cosmos womb from which all the creation is taking place, from which all of us is being born continuously. That's why this universe is ever expanding because we are connected, we are coming from that universal womb and from that, that universal mother. When we are able to heal a womb, the first that we are embrace and balance our feminine energy. We embrace, we started rejoicing that, yes, it's good to be feminine. I feel happy to be feminine because many, uh, I have met many girls, in fact, what to talk about others, me was not very comfortable being female. I feel there's so much restriction to be in this female body. If I would have been a male, that would be much, uh, much more, uh, uh, it would bring, uh, bring more freedom for me, for uh, more choice for me, for openness for me. So, but it is just because of the trauma which we are carrying in those home. But when we heal those aspects of ourselves, we started honoring the femininity we all have. We become more balanced because as per our energy field, we all are masculine also and feminine also. Being in the female body, if you are not able to honor the feminine, that becomes the worst part of it. That means we are not in alignment, we are not in check, we are not in connection, we are not in balance with the feminine power, we are not in balance with the feminine aspect of ourselves. And it just really keeps 
on draining our energy another part why the womb healing uh, we need the womb healing because our womb should be healthy if any of the body part is not healthy if any of the body part is not in a proper uh, position or is not in a proper structure is not in a proper uh, energy so that it can radiate light then whatever the creation will, which happened through this it will not be also be very proper very uh, divine so our uh, womb should be very healthy so that any light, anything which comes into creation because it is not only creating life with the womb many of your creativity expect also opens when your womb is healthy when your sacral is healthy so it should be healthy so that the creation that anything which gets created after this becomes more beautiful because it is a place of creation and it should be kept in a proper space because in this place of silence only the life begins anything to uh, blossom anything to come into life anything to grow the silence is needed that's why our uh, master dandishi pitama sathi ji always speaks so much of silence that you must we must practice amana in our life because when we are in silence then we are able to introspect we are able to we are more aware what's happening in our life otherwise when we keep on speaking speaking and we are uh, continuously engrossed in outward activities we miss what the life has to what the life is offering us is giving us so in this place of silence the exactly the life begins at the same time it helps to connect more deeply with our divine feminine because uh, when the womb heal when we heal this part we started rejoicing we started becoming more balanced in this energy we are able to nurture this qualities of the femininity we are able to experience and we are able to live this quality and sometimes when we feel creatively blocked or we feel lacking in inspiration that we don't feel inspired enough to live a life or we feel that uh, we want to do something but we are not able to it's just because the energy in the circle the energy in the womb is not healed we need to heal the aspect of ourselves so let's begin with the meditation with the womb healing so that we experience the deep deep healing and alignment with our feminine energy because as we feel this part the more balancing in our energy field starts happening so friends i request all of you to gently close your eyes and take a deep breath just observe your breathing just be aware be with your breath just feel the presence of the universal mother all the angels are king jesus supporting energies of a higher self of a team of light especially mother konian goddess queen tara and goddess shakti goddess kamakya
let's bring our awareness on the womb. Shamata tat utapaha kainai. How your womb look like? If you are in the male body also, it doesn't matter. Try to connect energetically with the womb with your past life. Just connect and see how the energy in the wounds look like. If there is sadness, hatred, resentment, anger, guilt, shame, namahato kashai namati kuna. Which energy you have stored there? Namahatu ka tapakatanu maiki. Shatu hu shatahata ihi tanema. Na kashi kita. Let all the energy which doesn't do it, we do not serve you. Leave your room right now. Shatu hu shoha. Namatai ko ta nai kai. Chap kashe ki takata kushe mahi. All the energy of the guilt and the shame. Nami hi ta hu. Tapaha shona ha tataha ko shaki. Kam taha ksh katama ha taha 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 sh. Tapaha shai 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 shai. Tapaha tai 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 tai. Tapaha tai 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 tai. Tapaha tai 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 tai. Tapaha sh. Just keep on releasing. Releasing the energy. Kama chaka chaka chu shai nama. That trauma, that energy of deep guilt and deep shame of being woman be released. We go deeper. Kat ko shain mataha ku. Tap shai tamahi. Tap shai shamahi. 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 energy when our physical boundaries have been violated by somebody in some time life in some lifetimes we have violated the boundaries of other womb 
or in some lifetimes, others have violated our boundaries. This energy is in the wall of your room. Looks like a green, olive green color. Got a screen that I steps in. I just imagine the beautiful, beautiful green color light into the room to dissolve this energy of the trauma, the energy of this trauma from the wall of your room. When the physical boundaries have been violated, where you have been the victim or the predator in any of the lifetimes. Shan Hanu Kakahu Kakaha Kahi Kataha Kashahi Kashay Shasha Releasing the energy, the deep rooted issues, the physical abuse. Just be in this space, keep on releasing, keep on releasing, keep on releasing. 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 Just be in this space and keep on releasing. Just keep on releasing, keep on releasing. No thoughts whatsoever. Keep on releasing, keep on releasing, keep on releasing, keep on releasing. We go deeper. Namaha shooting to the titi di tama. Kamati koko koshidana tashi. Releasing the boundaries. Releasing the energy. Which no longer serves you.
releasing those energies विगोजी पर कमकाते ना तक्ता कोशे Spiritually, the healing at the cosmos also happens.
just be in this space feel energy
Return back to your body. Feeling this deep healing. Namapashe Tanam. Thanking all your masters and guides. Thanking all the goddesses. Madhakonian, Goddess Tara. Mahaparvati, Mother Gaya, and many more. Just keeping your hands once again on your home, telling your home, I love you. I honor you and I respect you. very easily and comfortably return back to your body. Open your hands, keep it on your eyes. Five, four, three, two, one, seven. And open your eyes with a big, big smile. I'm pretty sure you must have a wonderful experience and it's very needed to heal this part of ourselves so that we can experience our true self. Thank you friends for joining. Let's connect to a womb and let's cherish our feminine energy more and more in our lives. Once again, I would like to thank Sri and there were all the masters, especially Ramrishi Pitamat Patriji for giving us the opportunity to run this program on the Women Empowerment. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shri. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sushma Ji. Really, the Om Healing Meditation was so intense, so powerful. Really, I felt like a lot of emotional cleansing has happened with me. Thank you so much. And literally the tears of joy. I experienced the joy within me when you are doing that wonderful guided meditation. Yes, what you said is correct. The womb is such a powerful center of energy, not only in women, because we men also contains, as you said, energetically, we all carry the womb, right? So we carry a lot of wisdom in this. So we have to grace and respect and honor our womb. Thank you so much, Sushma Ji. Really wonderful topic and wonderful sharing. Much needed in this during this time. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shri. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. And thank you for the session. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, friends, for joining today's session. And tomorrow, let's connect with one more Divine Feminine Master. And see you tomorrow. Thank you all. Thank you.